Ladies, welcome. We're so glad you're in Florida, glad you're in Orlando, and uh, I know you're gonna have a terrific convention. I'm fascinated with entrepreneurs. I think it's a special spirit that it takes to be an entrepreneur, and not everybody can do it, so I have a great respect for you. I tip my hat to you, I salute you, and uh, I hope this is a productive time for you. I hope you learn a lot, I hope you make a lot of good friendships and contacts, and uh, really maximize your time here in Orlando. Let me uh, talk to you for just a few minutes about an entrepreneur that uh, really has set this world on fire. In fact, he is the reason that all of you are here today. I'm talking about Walt Disney. Maybe the greatest entrepreneur in American history, but uh, there's so much we can learn from Walt. I've written two books about him and uh, really studied his life carefully. And in my study of Walt Disney, uh, he's a role model for everybody that has any entrepreneurial spirit at all. Uh, I've learned that Walt had five secrets that allowed all of his dreams to become reality. The good news is these secrets are just as applicable to you today. And they will allow all of you who are big dreamers uh, to see your dreams come to fulfillment. The first secret that Walt Disney had was this, make today pay off tomorrow. In other words, everything you do today in building your business, building your life, is an investment to pay dividends tomorrow. You don't see the results immediately, but as you continue day after day to make investments that pay dividends to your future, boy, you're gonna see some wonderful results. John Wooden was the great UCLA basketball coach for many years. When he was 12 years old, his dad gave him a piece of advice out there on the farm in Martinsville, Indiana. He said, Johnny, make each day your masterpiece. Isn't that a good one? Make each day your masterpiece. And Coach Wooden, for his entire life, lived by that philosophy. He died two years ago at age 99, but every single day of those 99 years, he strove to make each day his masterpiece. Here's Walt's second secret of success. Free up your imagination. Free up your imagination. You know, there is no telling what we can do. There are no limits to where we can go. If we will just shatter those mental restrictions that hinder us from getting to our full potential. So many of us buy into the philosophy so high and no more. I can only go to a certain level. Because when I was five years old, my Aunt Minnie said, what makes you think you can do that? Or an eighth grade teacher said, you know, you're never gonna be able to accomplish that. And we buy in like it's carved in stone or etched in ivory and we just lock into the position that I can only go to a certain level, can't go any higher. Please shatter those mental restrictions. You know, don't let anything hinder you and your imagination because with a freed up imagination, there is no telling what you can accomplish. Here's Walt's third secret, strive for lasting quality. Strive for lasting quality. Walt passed away in uh, December of 1966. But you know, to this day, the level of quality at which Disney operates, to me, it is staggering. And it all triggers from Walt. All the way back into the 1920s, long before he had great success, long before he had any real money, nothing would leave his studio until it was at the highest level of quality. Walt's famous saying was to his artists and his animators, plus it, boys, plus it. That meant it's not quite good enough and it may cost me a lot of money to redo it, but my name is on the company. It's the Walt Disney Company and nothing's leaving this studio. Nothing's going out into Disneyland until it's at the highest level of quality. And to this day, out on Disney property, you'll never see a piece of paper lying around. You'll never see a chip of paint off of a railing. You'll never see a blade of grass out of place uh, because I think they all think Walt's coming back and uh, they can probably still hear his voice. Plus it, boys, plus it, meaning not quite good enough. And, and here in Orlando, the, the end result is that everybody has to operate at that same level of quality. 
whether you're a restaurant or another theme park or a basketball team or a hotel, I don't care what it is. If you don't operate at the Disney level of quality here in Central Florida, you look so bad by comparison, you just can't compete. Walt's fourth secret that allowed his dreams to come true, he called it stick to it -ivity. It's not a real word. Walt made up words whenever he need them and needed them, and stick to it is Disney ease for hanging in there, for persevering, for not quitting. It's Disney ease for tenacity, holding on, you know, right till the end. And I'm so glad that Walt practiced that because you see, we never should have heard of him. He should have probably quit about 20 times along the, along the way. Went bankrupt 12 times, had two nervous breakdowns. When he finally got a good character in 1927, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, it was stolen by a New York huckster by the name of Charles Mintz. And, and along with all of Walt's top animators, I mean, he was flat on his back. He was just a young guy, 26, 27 years old. And I mean, just wiped out, he was devastated. But you know, it was right in that period that Walt began thinking, you know, I can't just give up, I can't quit even though he was heartbroken. He always had a thing for mice, and uh, he started sketching a mouse one day. Uh, Lillian was on this train ride back to L.A. with him, and uh, he went over and showed him the mouse. Had a name, Mortimer. Lillian was horrified. Far too sissy a name, she said, and uh, sent Walt back to the drawing board. And by the time this train got to L.A., Walt had a new mouse and a new name. You've heard of him. That's the reason we're all in Orlando these days. And uh, many years later, Walt says, I hope we never lose sight of the fact that it all started with a mouse. And I would say, Walt, you're not right on that one. It all started with that word you made up, stick to it, ivity, hanging in there. And uh, I know entrepreneurs don't always have it easy. There are a lot of risks along the way, a lot of downtimes, a lot of worry, a lot of... Um, open deserts to navigate and hills to get over. And there are many times when you just say, whew, boy, I think I'm gonna pack it in. Now, please remember Walt and that word, stick to a And then the fifth and final secret I've learned about Walt Disney that allowed his dreams to become reality was simply this, have fun, he said. Walt really believed that. He really believed that it's important for all of us to have fun. And I would say to you today, here in Orlando, uh, you are in the fun capital of the world, Orlando, Florida. People all over the world, last year 51 million people saved up their money for years to come here for one reason, and that's to have fun. And so as you build your business, as you become to have more, uh, begin to have more success, never forget, it, it's not illegal to have fun. It's not illicit, it's not immoral. In fact, the more fun you have, the more people want to work with you, the more success you're going to have, the bigger and faster your business is going to grow. So remember Walt's advice, have fun. Again, have a wonderful, wonderful convention. Work hard, learn all you can. Above all, have fun. And may God bless you richly.